Hi everyone, I'm Lucas and in this video I'm going to show you the Legato editing tool in Presono Studio One. It's not a new feature, it was already added in Studio One 4 and I remember that it was a feature that I always wanted to have and eventually it ended up in Studio One and since then I really use it a lot when I do orchestral pieces. But I noticed that not many people are aware of this tool, so I thought I'd make a video about it. Let's say you're working on a melody line, it could be a bass line or a synth melody or in my case a cello melody like I have in this piece. Now imagine you want to move a note in the middle of a phrase because you think it's coming in a little too early. So what you would normally do is you would take the start of the note and drag it to the right to just resize the note. Now your note might be where you want it to be, but now the phrase is no longer legato. What's the problem with that? Well, if you're working with a sample library that uses true legato samples, it will only play these two notes legato if they overlap. Otherwise, let's hear how it sounds when they don't overlap. Or different example, if you're using a bass sound that's monophonic and you want to slide from one note to the next, you also need them to overlap. So to fix that, of course, what we can do is take the end of the previous note and make it longer so that they overlap. That's a perfectly valid approach, but if you do this a lot, it can be quite tedious if you have to keep adjusting the notes left or right. So instead, we can use the legato tool. And this works as follows. Hold down the Alt key or Option on a Mac and simply track the beginning of the note. And as you can see, the other overlapping note just adjusts so that the overlap stays in place so it's still legato no matter how you resize the notes. And this works both ways. You can also move the end of a note and if you hold down the Alt key, your phrase will stay legato. Let's listen to how our phrase sounds now. Yes, I think the timing is much better now. This is the legato tool. And if you're saying, well, there's all these modifier keys, shift, alt, control, I really can't remember them. No problem, that's why we have the info view in Studio One. That's this question mark icon right here. And when you enable it, you get this nice info bar that's context sensitive. And depending on what you're editing, it shows you the available modifier keys. And if you hover over the beginning or end of a note, it will show you ALT, the ALT key, and resize adjacent events. So let's hold down ALT or OPTION on the Mac and it lets you resize notes while maintaining the overlap between the notes. I hope you like it and if you like this video, please hit the like button and it would be great if you subscribe to my channel and activate the bell so that's how you can support my channel and my work for Studio One. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.